must be delighted, a proud moment for someone from Kent to, to lead your county. Yeah, it's really exciting uh, to be named captain for this year and um, yeah, you know, from Kent under 11s, um, however many years ago that was now, it seems a long time, but um, yeah, it's great to have played all my county cricket here at Kent and to finally um, have the honour of being captain. And you've got Alice David, Davidson Richards, I'll get her name right, uh, <laughs> as, as a vice captain alongside you. What was the thinking behind that? Because obviously there's going to be England call ups this summer with the World Cup, etc. Yeah, I mean, we've obviously got a lot of experience in our squad um, with, you know, myself, Laura Marsh, Tash Farron. Um, but, you know, with the World Cup and um, other commitments this summer, uh, we felt that um, someone who, you know, is Kent through and through and. Um, you know, he's going to hopefully be around for a long time for Kent. Um, ADR was the perfect choice. Um, she's done really well the last few seasons for Kent. Um, she's really taken on some responsibility in the middle order with the bat, and um, you know, she bowls some really crucial overs. So um, I think that's going to be invaluable for her, and hopefully she'll um, she'll back me up. But if I'm not here, um, she'll do an equally uh, as good a job. And did Lydia steps up as, as coach? Um, a little word about Lydia. I mean, Kent through and through, like the group you mentioned there, and a natural transition I think for Lydia with her international retirement taking on some more coaching yeah definitely I mean um, hopefully she's still going to play a few games in the T20s for Kent um, but you know like you said she's she's like me she's grown up from under 11s um, here in Kent and you know um, I think she uh, bleeds the horses as such um, but no it's excellent that she's she can coach us she's certainly got um, so much experience that she can pass um, to all of the girls across uh, across our team and um, hopefully she'll really bring bring a winning formula for this year. 2016 is going to be a pretty tricky year to follow, uh, a fitting way to say, say goodbye to Charlotte after so many years at Kent. Yeah definitely, I mean it was nice for her to go out on a high, um, unfortunately we didn't know we were going to be losing her uh, at that point but um, yeah I think she had a very tough year last year, um, you know, uh, giving up international cricket so for her to have uh, Kent to come back and I think she really enjoyed the season and um, yeah, she, we've got some big, full, uh, big shoes to fill this season, um, but I think that's quite exciting. I think it gives a chance for a lot of our younger players who, you know, have been in and around the squad for a number of years now to to come through and really shine and show what they can, uh, what, what they're made of. Yeah, a couple of those to talk about. Alice, obviously, just received a call up with you guys to the Senior England and squad for a camp, and and Izzy Cloak as well for the Senior Academy. So it shows that there are players still coming through. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they're two of uh, probably the ones to watch over the next the next year or so. Izzy Cloak's bowling certainly impressed me over uh, the end of last summer and and the winter. And um, like I said, ADRs are really. Um, strong performer for us now but you know we've got performers the whole way down the likes of Charlotte Pape and Megan Belt keep um, turning out bowling performances that you know top the wickets charts for the entire league um, we've also got players like Grace Gibbs and um, you know Phoebe Franklin that you know are, are talented but haven't necessarily had the opportunity um, to show what they've got over the last few years so it is really exciting and we've got hopefully some of the under 17s going to come up and join us this year as well. And a big summer for you, obviously, not just domestically as captain, but internationally with England. Um, must be buzzing, looking forward to it. Yeah, it's definitely a very exciting uh, exciting season. Uh, the World Cup's ever closer, but, you know, it's um, amazing that it's going to be on home soil. Um, it's yeah, going to be great to be a part of, and hopefully we'll get plenty of Kent fans turning up uh, to some of our games.